Hi, guys. Um, good morning. I was awoken with um, some words for us, so I'm going to read those today, and hopefully the Spirit will talk to me as we go through this so I can better uh, explain it to you, okay? I've got also some pictures to show us. So let's talk about the kingdom of heaven and the new being that you are in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Jesus the Christ is all the oil that you need for your lampstand. The Christ means the anointed one, and anointed means to cover in oil, okay? All the oil for your lampstand becomes an eternal reservoir, okay? An oil factory. Remember, you are a nuclear power plant. And so this is an eternal thing. Um, an oil factory, and what came to mind were my glands, your pineal gland, pituitary gland, all of the glands working in your body are now excreting pure oil, okay? Your hormones excreting the correct oil. Humors, your bodily fluids are working in perfect order. Um, they're cleansed and they're clean. Humor is that bubbly champagne. It's that giggle and that laughter that we've talked about, you guys. Humors, it's, it's truly a different countenance, a different affect, okay? Humors like vitrium, vitreous, vitruvian, okay? A song came to mind. I'm going to make this place your home. So what we're talking about now is this is your land, God's domain. God has come to take over the vessel, but God's influence is included in your aura, in your energy field, okay? You have this huge aura around you, things that are affected by your, it's your magnetosphere, okay? Every pathway in your body and even out there is going to be familiar to you. And it's because you have walked the path so many times. Okay, so you've gone round and round and round the spiral staircase, wandering in the desert. It's Dory and Marlin in the uh, Bay of Sydney, and they keep wandering and they recognize all the specks and all the dirt in the water because they've been around it so many times. Okay, now what we have done when we walked through that desert is we left pillars of stones there. So now you come across it and you say, my gosh, I've been here before. I know what this means. I understand it. I have been to this place before. I remember the circumstance, the surrounding environment. It's all completely familiar. No more foreign entities. So everything you encounter on your alternating currents of heaven, heaven has not just one highway to hell. There are many alternating currents turned on in this brain, this network of branches. And every place you cross, okay, is a divine encounter because you're like, oh yeah, I've been here before. I understand its meaning. That means that what you encounter is no longer in shadow. You have brought it to light 
a long time ago because you have stepped on this X marks the spot a thousand times if you have stepped on it once. And, and what you did when you kept wandering and kept repeating your karmic cycles in a time loop, you kept stepping on the same spots and you were building them up layer by layer, stone upon stone until they became pillars. It is the pillars which connect your electric grid. You are lit. You have literally built for yourself an electric network. And it's because you laid the lines and set a telephone pole. You laid the lines and set a telephone pole. And by repeatedly going around the circuit, okay, it's the alternating current. This is how you turned on the lights because your whirlwind is what um, creates the energy, okay? You have literally built a grid for yourself. It's the tree of life and all of, you've walked around it so many times, it's become a tree of life. All these branches, all the dendrites in your brain, you have lit them up now. Because of the whirlwind, because you go around so many times, okay? Uh, there are no foreign unwelcome entities. So now you must think of your body inside of you. There is no more diseased bacteria that has not become familiar, Meaning, they have passed through the fire, okay? You have a fire that surrounds you. It's your aura and it's your crown. And if the entity has actually entered the gate, it has passed through the fire. Therefore, it's clean, it can no longer do you harm. And yes, I am talking about disease, bacteria, and not only that, strangers, okay? Any, anybody that might approach, they must pass through your gates, which are guarded now. And it's the, the gatekeeper that tells you, and he's way out on the peripheral, and he tells you, watch out, incoming disease. And he can X it out, cut it off with the sword, or he can say, oh, this is okay. We can let it pass through the gates. You see, you are the queen sitting in the middle, the king sitting in the middle. And it's her retinue. It's her guards it's her servants that are guarding her gates. This is why she's at rest. Okay, we're going to describe that in here. Okay, so these unwelcome guests, you guys, guest is the same word as ghost. So they have passed through the fire. If they have entered they're fine, they're pure, they're clean, they cannot do you harm. And yes, I, am, I know I'm talking about disease, okay? As well as anything that passes through the marketplace. We'll talk about it, okay? There's no more disease. They have taken on your countenance, meaning they have passed through the electrical grid you create in your own image. So they will reflect you. Are you a good host for them? Are you guys a perfect match? Then it's congeniality. It's you smile at them. You create them in your own image. They smile back at you. Okay, it's 
Be careful to entertain strangers. Okay? It's knowing which stranger is familiar and can reflect your own creation. Like, does this belong in my heaven? Okay. I'll recognize it in the encounter, in the face, in the reflection. Does it mirror me? Does my creation mirror me? Even that person, even that guest, does he mirror me? Created in my image, he's good. And you recognize right away if something is not created in your image because it looks like this. It looks like an enemy. It looks like a ghost. And, and you guys, if it remained a ghost, it's not your fault. You have been out to explore every nook and cranny all the way out to the periphery of the universe to explore and look for the gemstones that you wanted in your kingdom. So you recognize every archetype, you recognize every energy signature. So there are those entities that have the same energy frequency that you recognize right away. That whole entire group does not enter my gates. Okay. They are not, this mirror shows me that they're not reflecting my own image which is that, the shining rays of light, the shining faces of the angels of heaven, okay? The mirror reflects your own shine. So you will recognize them. It's their energy signature and it vibes with your own, okay? This is paradise found. Paradise found. Okay, the seeds I planted, you guys, I went out to explore. I'm very definitely getting Jason in the Argonauts, okay? I know that's important for some of you. The seeds I planted before in the desert, right? I went out to search to the ends of the universe. And as I went, we were leaving stones, just like Jacob wandering through the desert and Abraham and all of them, okay, we were planting seeds. I planted the seeds everywhere before. So everywhere I go, I have fruit on the vine. If it has fruited, that's mine. That's my territory. That's my territory. If it has withered, That's not my territory. Okay? Everywhere I go, I have fruit on the vine. Do you guys understand? It's continual provision. That's exactly what it is. Provision. Okay? Shelter from the leaves. So anywhere you go, you are protected. This is your shelter, guys. There are sweet aromas that you recognize. Smiling faces. It that what that actually means, you guys, is there's coconuts. That's what coconut means, believe it or not. Um, Hanging from the tree. It's a smiling face reflecting back at you. And so you know, oh, this is mine. This is my territory. Okay. You have under. I'm sorry, you understand thoroughly the intricate layers of all that used to be in shadow. You have created, manifested living creatures, okay, from a seed in the dirt that was once dead. You have watered and nurtured and shed light upon 
and you created this being. You guys, you are the creator. We talked about the other day how it was the God out there that you thought created everything. No, (laughs) it's the God within you that has created everything. You have created and manifested living creatures and living light. This is totally about turning on this electric grid, living light. It's so powerful, you guys. I pray that you feel the frequency of the words and understand the images, okay? You have created ley lines, an electric grid. You have just turned on the lights in heaven. You guys, you have just, you connected to the galactic grid a long time ago, but the Christmas tree lights just went on. You connected, but there wasn't enough power there. And if I remember, we're going to talk about your empowerment today. Power. The power just went on. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. So, welcome home. Remember, this is the spirit speaking to me at like four o'clock in the morning. So, please bear with me. Welcome home, time travelers. You have come back to the future. You went into your past to lay dead stones plant dead seeds for yourself to wander round and round the desert in a time loop. Remember, you guys, when everything's in death, you're out of time. There is no time in death. You are absolutely out of time. And you're in this karmic cycle of death without time, timing, rhythm, Nothing. Everything's chaotic. You're out of order. Your orchestra is making noise out of control. Okay? Karmic cycles. The wheel. The wheel. Okay? The wheel was just not spinning, remember. It was just all over the place. Everywhere you look, you encountered God though, you guys, you were on the hunt for God. You were on the hunt for the treasure. So everywhere you looked, you encountered a God. It's just, was he dark? Everything is God, you guys. Was he dark? Did it wither? Then that's not the correct God. But if the God could grow and expand and start to feel the sunlight and start to grow forth, then it's the true God in your land. These are giants, and I am feeling Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay, whatever. Everywhere you look, you encountered God and woke him up. The Spirit said, tickled the ivories. It's the old fossils that were buried. So you buried bones, death, in the sand, you guys. You were burying these bones in death. You tickled the ivories, right? That's what an ivory tusk is. It's like a bone. The dead bone of gods, and you woke them up. They were fossils, you guys, crude oil. You woke them up, put them through the fire, and they became refined. You have landed on an oil field. The goose that lays the golden egg. Okay. What does that mean? Daily, daily, you will cross a path that your mind says, oh, 
I remember being here. There's not a rock here anymore. There's a gemstone. It's pure golden eggs that you laid. You laid a dead seed and it turned into a golden egg. Every path you take, you encounter a place where you have turned a fossil into oil and a stone into a crystal. This is light, you guys. It's living light, okay? It's your crown on fire, on shine, and there's no more strangers in your territory, okay? No more demons hiding, uncovered, undeveloped, immature. Foreign entities before these shadows caused fear, which caused disease, literally. Disease is a place where the juice doesn't flow. Disease is a place where the juice doesn't flow. The electricity didn't get there. The um, oil didn't flow there. The honey didn't reach there. Okay. You cannot let it sit and fester. You guys, you've got to kick the disease out. And that's, that's again, that's hard for us who have learned that to the pure, all things are pure, right? To those of us who have been so forgiving, so forgiving, welcome into my gates. Even if you're going to misuse me, even if you're going to abuse me, even if you have your own evil energy sucking intentions for me and they have not transformed, time is up, out, out with a disease, out with it, guys. Time is up. The church age is over. The grace period is over. Done. Kick out those foreign entities. This is actually where you are fully empowered. It's because those entities were sucking your energy for their selves. And, And you let them for so long. Now you cut them off and they can no longer drain your energy reserves. And so this is why you are so empowered at full power. And and why did you let them do that? Because you were not being your authentic self. You didn't step into your full power. You guys will recognize this in yourselves. If there is still something that's nagging at you, like that doesn't belong here. That's not my authentic self. There's still something off here. You need to cut it off. And that's what will empower you to the fullest. And that has been this season for me for sure. Okay. In in more ways than one. Okay. No more demons hiding uncovered. No more fear, which causes disease. Disease is a place where the juice doesn't flow. So here comes a word, emporium. An emporium is a marketplace. It's a trade center, okay? It's also the pores, P-O-R-E-S, on your skin. The pores on your skin are your gates, Who's keeping your gates, okay? It's a place where you trade and exchange with the world, right? You barter, you exchange. But these gates, now, you have witnesses, eyeballs, guards at your gates now. Because queen, again, you have your retinue. All these ornaments around you are orbs, orbs around you. They're eyeballs around you. All these bubbles that you have called up and conjured, okay? They are eyes that stand in your aura. 
They stand at your gates, you guys. These gates, you have witnesses, eyeballs, guards that say, oh, alert, this is a foreign entity, evil intention, do not allow it to pass. Okay? Your pillars that you have erected, the, these are the guards that stand at the pillars. They're the guards that stand at the post. They're your telephone lines, okay? Your telephone posts. They are your hairs. Pillar, pile, pile means hair, okay? Just like the hairs in your air tract, you have little hairs that line your nose, you guys. They catch the f- and trap the foreign objects. These guards will either sneeze it out or process it, cleanse it, and welcome it in. Welcome to this energy signature. We recognize you as one of the words that belongs in our story. Welcome in. Welcome in. Okay? It's, it's a firewall that they pass, but if they are of your same vibration, they pass through easily. And it's the guards, your cloud of witnesses that surrounds you in the Bible, that, that um, verse that escaped you forever. You have a cloud of witnesses. You walk in the Shekinah glory. You have a, you're a pillar of smoke. You have a cloud of witnesses surrounding you to guard your glory, your purity, and your gold, virgins. They also stand and guard your virgin land, your new earth, that which is in your energy field. Just like the hairs, they catch and trap the foreign object. They either sneeze it out or process it and cleanse it and welcome it in. You rest. The guards do the work. It's your aura, your beams of light, rays of light around your head, Medusa. They're the seraphim that sit and surround the throne of God. They're your hairs. It's snakes coming out of your head. Seraphim are the fiery serpents that surround the throne of God continually. Medusa, the snakes, the fiery serpents, the seraphim, go out and stick out their tongue. They're testing the waters around you. They're reading the energy around you. They're tasting the flavors around you. Your antenna, your feelers, right? This is all your snakes. Stick out their tongues and kill any unclean object that does not resonate with your frequency and they throw it into the lake of fire, okay, to heal it if possible. Okay. Otherwise, it's poisoned, it withers, and it dies. Okay. This is a place where you can see the future because you know the path is already lit up, you guys. Anywhere you travel in the tree, in the tree of life, in your territory, you have already been there and planted a stone that has turned into a gemstone, which is a flashlight. My cat. All the paths are lit up now, meaning you can see what's ahead because you've been there so many times. You read the energy signature because you have sat in that energy field so many times before. 
Okay. You know where the path is leading. It's lit up. This is the auger. You guys, the snakes on Medusa's head, what does snake mean? It means auger. So when you snake out the dirt, right? That's the auger. But what's an auger? He's a diviner. He's a soothsayer. He's a fortune teller. He he sees the future. That's what an auger is. Okay. I can tell you what's coming because my feelers out there, the antenna, the beams of light, and the snakes, the seraphim, sense it. They sense it. They test the air, you guys. This is walking in the spirit. It's having eyeballs all around you. Past, present, future. Okay? They know what's behind you. They know what's to the side of you. They know what's in front of you. Look at the grid. Look at the grid. There is not one dark spot in your eye except for that little tiny speck. That little tiny speck that remains because that's where the orbs arise from. That's where the orbs arise from. Space, the place where you meet and encounter. Okay? The dark energy of space, the dark matter of space. That's why it's out there. Okay. This is the tree of life. I see men as trees walking. You are a walking tree of life. You can sense the weather because you create it with your electricity. It's, you guys, this electric grid is the lightning of Thor and Jupiter and Zeus. You declare it with your own thunder. You're like, oh, we're about to head down that pathway. I'll tell you all about it. You declare it with your thunder, and that's what it is. And that's what it is. You are a forecaster to cast forward, to cast forward. Forecaster. You can see the weather that's coming. It's because you're actually creating it. By your foreknowledge of it. By your foreknowledge of it. You see, you guys, the path was already laid. It's now your eternal self is watching it play out knowing that we've already been there, right? So many dress rehearsals, it's crazy how many dress rehearsals we've had, okay? Now you're like, okay, now we're walking in it. And I know exactly where we're going. I've seen it so many times. And and this is now the actual play in front of the audience, Okay. You are throwing your eyes forward to spy out the land ahead. Knowing you've been there before allows you to read the energy field. Oh, this means this is happening and this is coming. You are God's time clock. No longer chained to repeat the same karmic cycle because your circuit board was only this big. And so you kept going around and around and around and around and around and around. This is all that was lit up in you. Very small amount of things in your circuit board. Very few telephone poles in your territory. 
And so you kept going round, 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 and round. Not seeing the bigger picture. Or the bigger picture. Or the bigger picture. Okay? Why? Because you kept out so many things, declaring them as evil when it was... Now it's too late. Okay? You didn't welcome things in that were supposed to be good. And everything remained evil. And now your, your vision of light is this big, where the others see everything in light. Everything in light that's supposed to be in light, it, it, which is the true spotlight, limelight, play. It's the true destiny, the true path, the true story in the theater, the true tale the true story. The true story has been lit up. Oh, yes. Yeah. (sighs) Okay. You are God's time clock, no longer chained to repeat the same cycle because your circuit was only this big. Now your circuit is the stars. Forever expanding, constantly stretching out. What is that definition in Hebrew? Heaven, to stretch out and to expand is to be in heaven. Now, how do you keep expanding? You read the energy signature. You read the frequency. You read the vibe. You read the circuit board. And you say, that is is the path I am to take. I feel it. It's lit up. I recognize it. It's familiar. I'm going on that path. That's the true path. That's the destined path. That's my destiny. I know it. I feel it in my bones. Okay? You have broken the old circuit, the old program, the old motherboard. Because it was wrong. How could we possibly know? How could we possibly see until we've been through this tremendous cycle of refinement and learning and growing and activating the star seeds that belong in the circuit board. You know how big our computer program is supposed to be? As big as the universe is. You have burst. Oh, hold on. Uh, You have broken the old circuit, the old program of the time loop, the karmic cycle of hell and death. In death, there is no time. There is no time. You have just stepped into timing. Perfect timing, perfect timing. So that everything that occurs now, you will have your divine meetings, divine encounters. Because you're crossing paths at the right time. You have burst free into the heavens. Victory, wreath, the laurel, the crown. You are a new creature. It's a creature that walks by light. A creature that walks by sensing, intuiting, feeling, reading the energy in motion, taking that creative energy on fire, the electricity, and walking with that as your staff, your shield, your buckler. That's how you walk through the heavens, Thor, Jupiter, Zeus, that's how you walk through the heavens. (sighs) 
what's a wreath, you guys? A wreath is a whale. The animal, yes. The animal of the sea, yes. Um, and what does this mean? You are Leviathan. You are Leviathan. Able to navigate the waters above and turn it into wine, bubbly champagne. Every step of the way is a celebration. You are a new creature, a heavenly one, an eternal one, a host of heaven. Your eyes, your armies, your guardians are all attached in the correct order. Your cloud of witnesses is your retinue. They are always spying out the lands that we are going. And they bring you back report. This is your train and your caravan. Your retinue, your retinue. That's what retinue means. It means your train and your caravan. And you've got, now you've got them in, I'm seeing them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Zodiac for Christ's sake. All the animals, all the gods, all the constellations, all the balances, the scales of Libra, all that is in your caravan working on God's time clock, which is the zodiac, the way we move in the heavens. Where are you picture? Oh, I have so many pictures, guys. The zodiac, 12, the clock, 12. Okay, here we go. As you are now God's timepiece, able to tell what time it is, what season we're in, you're in. You get your timing back. Remember, in death, there was no time. You get your timing back. Divine counts. Okay. Divine counts are tally marks. One, two, three. Tallies are tales, stories. It's your new story, your destiny, your fate. Okay. These tallies are for the tax collector. This is how the tax collector tallies, you guys. He makes marks on your account, your story. To recount is to tell a story, you guys. Okay, so the tax collector gets paid daily. Who's the tax collector? Kronos. Time, Father Time, he would eat you up. But because every day you are having divine counts, divine encounters, there are golden eggs and gemstones laying at your crossways, at your divine encounters, every path you take. There's a gemstone. And so you feed that to Kronos. What is time? It's a tide. It's a season. And under the root word of tide, I believe, or time, one of them, is the word tithe. Tithe. You will always pay the tax collector Kronos a tenth. Okay, that's that little speck. 
That's that little mark. But you will, you lay golden eggs every single day. You have a thousand. What, what, so what if you give him 10? Okay. That's 1%. Let's give him 1% and he'll be happy. Okay. He comes asking for what is due. This, this living in this reality would eat you up. Kronos would eat you. Father time would come and get you and you would die. But time is money. Tide, season, hour, time, tithe. Time is money. Okay? So every pathway you take around this circuit now, you've got the circuit of, it's the virgin with the crown of 12 stars is what I'm seeing, you guys. Okay? Every path you encounter, you have a gemstone on it. You have more than enough to pay the piper, pay the tax collector, okay? Time is money. Another golden egg, another golden harvest, another fruit hanging from the tree. All these trees you've planted, all the seeds you've planted are in full bloom. You can pay your tithes forever. Okay, so let's talk about the season, okay? That whole story was because of this. Okay, guys, we talked about this um, during Hurricane, Hurricane Ian. And Hurricane Ian means uh, John the Baptist, but it means God's grace, God is gracious, okay? Hurricane Ian is all your eggs were in one basket. All your eggs were in one basket, meaning Noah's Ark. We were supposed to get into Noah's Ark with all the animals with us and all of our family with us. We were supposed to get into Noah's Ark, okay? Along comes Hurricane Ian crosses right through the rotunda, which is the cervix, the eye, the diaphragm, the gate. It's the gate. Okay. This wasn't in it. Literally, that's where Hurricane Ian landed in Florida. Okay. Made landfall here. We were waiting for the coming of Christ because this is conception in reverse. First, it's the male that's supposed to do this, supposed to hit the cervix, the diaphragm, and then you're supposed to have all your eggs in one basket. Okay? We've had this moment. It's the crowning moment. It's the burning bush. It's the star on top of the Christmas tree. It's recognizing Christ in you. You've done all the work. You've Look back and everything has turned to gold. It's the Midas touch. It's all of that. The revelation, the epiphany, the full appearance in full fig. The full glory of Christ has just come to us. This is Christ's coming. Okay? Now, I'm still working on it, you guys, but this period was counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. We reversed the clock, went back in time to lay for ourselves stones and seeds, you guys. This is why the Spirit called us time travelers. We literally went back in time to lay the breadcrumbs for ourselves in the wandering desert. Okay? We, we kept leaving seeds. And seeds, I'm seeing them right now as... Uh, um, emitters beep sending out a frequency.
You know, Galactic Mother had told us that they were planting prisms to send out a frequency. It's it, their honing calls. That's what they were. They were, they were the seeds. They were honing calls. Honing. Come here. Come home. Here's the pathway. Look, I'm leaving a seed. I'm leaving, leaning, leaving a prism, which is a crystal. A stone with crystals inside of it. You see, I'm, take, I'm seeing um, Thor taking his hammer and cracking those rocks open. Okay. It's like we went back. We were sent back in time to leave this path for ourselves. And to me, I'll, I'll explain to you what is going on in my life. Since Hurricane Ian, it's like we were given a grace period, you guys, on a microcosm because the whole entire Life has been a grace period, living on borrowed time in borrowed skin. We were supposed to be dead because of the nuclear event. It was supposed to reverberate through the ages and kill us. Taking the forbidden fruit was supposed to kill us. God said, you shall surely die. And yet Adam did not die. He was just cursed. Okay. So, since Hurricane Ian, you guys, we've been rewinding the time clock, meaning we've gone back to review everything, to, to get it in order, to align it, and to put it in its proper place. And this has yet been like another grace period to to do those things and to align with your true authentic self and to encounter, have the epiphany of epiphanies and encounter your mate face to face finally. Who am I truly down to the core? It was a time to get the bugs, the viruses out of the computer program. There were things that you yet held on to that needed to be cut off, you guys. And I did this more than once, and it was so empowering. Why, you guys? It's because those things that were not supposed to be in my land were draining my energy. Energy vampires. They did not resonate in my frequency. They needed to go. And so that's what I've done. Since, literally, since reviewing, turning back the clock, we did. It's like we gave ourselves one more time, okay? One more time, one more spin. What was it, you guys? It was chariots of fire, the clock was supposed to strike midnight back then, right? We had, we had the solar flare and fiery dart, but we couldn't yet lift our missile up out of the ocean, okay? So we went around one more time, 12 days, the season, the tide, 40 days of epiphany before the ascent. Now we've just done that, you guys. We've just realized that we've come out of the tree of knowledge completely and put the star on top of the pyramid. It's new heights, new heights that we just reached. Okay. Now we have, we've just seen the tower where it fused us finally together with our mate. And it's because he saw or she saw, you can, you can do this either way. What did you need guys? Did you need more masculinity or did you need more femininity? Did you need more soft, nurturing kindness? Or did you need a little more strength because you were weak? Okay. When your mate finally saw that you kicked out the last uh, energy suckers, they said, yes, 
Now we can unite. Now, instead of you being a fractal, just a fractal of yourself, you became whole. You became whole. Instead of a fraction, you became a whole. Okay. Now, we were just talking about the chariots on fire, the centaurs. The centaurs, which is the man and the vehicle, or the woman and the vehicle. It's God and his body, his avatar. God and his body united as one. That's the chariot. They carry fiery darts. This is the chariot wheels of Elijah. Ezekiel's wheel. Wheel of fortune. It's the chariot on fire. It's the whole heavens lit up. It's your whole wheel lit up. The centaurs, they shoot you guys, they shoot arrows into your pine cone. And your pine cone, this is true in biology, in real life, okay? The pine cone emits seeds, which are um, visions of sugar plums dancing in your head. We've talked about the plum before, the prune. (laughs) And it lights them on fire. All your dreams come true. All your dreams come true. It's like they, they, you guys, it truly is. The fiery darts of the centaurs hit the pine cone. We've had teachings on this before. This is how I can tell you this. I went back and I looked through my videos about the lunar eclipses that we've had for the past two years. My God, how many times I must have five videos about lunar eclipse for it to finally now realize, oh my goodness, we've been building this explanation, this understanding for years. And it took that many times going around and around and around and around that we finally, finally recognize it. Okay. So now, you guys, we have... um, Oh, this is so beautiful. We now have Hurricane Nicole coming. I think she'll hit today and tomorrow on the other coastline, which is ironic because this is all mirrored and it was counterclockwise and now we're now clockwise. Okay. So she's coming on the Eastern coast now of Florida. Hurricane Nicole. Nicole is Nike, the God of victory, the victory laurel, the victory wreath right here. And it's not when you have your eggs all in one basket anymore. It's that you have sent out, that's my cat, you have sent out all of your animals out of the ark and all of your um, family members out of the ark. And they have gone to be fruitful and they have multiplied. And now your eggs are in every tree in your garden. In every tree, there's a nest with a golden egg in it. Your eggs are in every basket now. This is the victory, guys. This is the victory. This is it. 
this is, this is our victory. This is our victory wreath. Fruiting. Fruiting. Full fig. Okay. Now, there's something quickly. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't realize I was taking so long. Okay. Um, quickly, quickly. You know that you must be every single um, thing from one end of the spectrum to the other. How, how can I get this through to you guys? You guys, Satan is not evil and Lucifer is not evil unless you leave them unredeemed. Shame on you. Do your job. You are to redeem them in your mind. You're supposed to go through and look through those shadows and, and find the light in them. Okay. You are the, that's why you can be the living library, which is the complete and full word of God. So listen, we are definitely working in the book of revelation and that beast. Oh, (laughs) that beast that's coming up out of the ocean. You guys, there's a seven headed monster with seven heads and 10 crowns, right? Yeah. I'll tell you who that is. A beast with seven heads and 10 crowns, something like that, you guys. And the dragon and the serpent gave him his power that you better bet that I tamed that dragon and took his power. That was my job. That's what I was supposed to do to beat that enemy, the serpent, and then take his vile venom and turn it into medicine. You, this is Medusa. This is the Hydra coming up, the seven headed monster coming up out of the ocean. Okay. Can you relate? I hope you can, Medusa. Because you need those seraphim surrounding the throne of God. And what is this? The seven heads? It's this. It's Atlantis. It's this. What does it look like to you? Guys, the ten crowns have something to do with the tithe and the time and the victory in that, okay, which I haven't yet clued in on. Okay. Um, but you have to recognize that it's not evil that's winning. It is good. That's winning that it is light. That's winning. Okay. It's not evil taking over evil already took over a long, long, long time ago. This is the light taking over. Okay. That's the plan. That's the destiny. That's the fate of humankind. Okay, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow.